Hi, it's Nigel here from Arch Capital. I'm here with Dr. Steve Garth, who is a member of our investment committee, to talk about the last quarter. It is now 1 July 2022, and welcome, Steve. Great to see you again. Yeah, thank you, Nigel. Great to be here. Uh, what a quarter it has been. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things have changed since the last time we did a quarterly update, where things were looking sort of rosy, but we're starting to see a few cracks. Um, so today we're going to go around the different asset classes. Steve's going to give his view on what's been going on. Um, and for clients listening to this, obviously a few concerns out there. So we're going to try and put all this into perspective, give you hopefully a bit of comfort that what we're seeing is actually fairly normal. Steve, who's been you know, in the markets for a long time managing money. and uh, Yeah, thanks, Michael. Over the last 12 months, certainly in the second half of last year, things were quite rosy. The Australian market was up. 3.8% in the second half of last year. And then in, in the last quarter, uh, the March quarter this year, the Australian market was up 2.2%. And of course, that was sort of defying gravity because every other market was negative in the first quarter. Well, the world has caught up with Australia or Australia has caught up with the rest of the world because all the markets are down this quarter, as I'm sure you know. The Australian market, it's down just close to 10% for the quarter. And when we go to overseas markets, uh, world market X Australia also down about 10%. The emerging markets, surprisingly, are only down a little bit. What should investors be thinking about? It's not a nice time when you see every asset class go down. Um, Diversification is a great concept, but when every asset class falls at the same time, even in property, um, what should they be thinking about and how can they I suppose we put at ease that uh, things are going to be okay. We've got some data here, Nigel, too, that says after market downturns, it only takes mm, one to three years to fully recover from that and to have much stronger returns than what the downturn. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the chart here, it's a little bit complicated, but when markets were down by 10%, then within a year, markets were already positive. Yep. When markets were down by 20%, once again, within a year, they were positive. Within three years, they were more positive. You know, five years, you know, great returns. And even when markets were down by 30%, it took a little bit longer to get that recovery, but you still had positive returns after five years. So the data says that don't get too worried by a market downturn. It's not unusual and markets recover quite quickly from it. We'll just move to bonds for a moment. Not everyone's favorite topic, I know. Bonds took the caning first. Second quarter, it's the equity markets that's taken the caning. Bonds are, are still a little bit negative um, this quarter. When you have a look at the chart we've got up now, you can see those bond yields, when yields go up, then that's when bond prices go down. But you can see that in the last month, those yields have turned around, starting to come down again, which means bonds have had a positive return in the month, starting to recover. Bonds are now returning between three and four percent going forward. Bonds are also starting to perform their classic role of the bonds are there protecting the overall portfolio. So I'll just say a few things on recession because it's a scary term. Yeah. Um, and you know what is a recession? What first of all, what is a recession? So a recession technically it's two quarters of negative growth. So it's an economic term. Yeah. So recessions aren't great, but once again they're not uncommon. The last recession was during the COVID pandemic, and of course that was very short lived to come out of that yeah. within weeks. The recession may not happen for another quarter, another two quarters, but that doesn't mean the stock market will fall for the, the stock market and the economy are two different things. So the economy looks backwards and people are saying, well, I think we're heading into a recession, but the stock market's looking forward and going, we've already priced that in and now we're looking to the future. And so you might see that the stock market goes up, even though we may be coming into an economic recession. All right, so to summarise, Steve, uh, from today's session, for the message for investors is yes, these are slightly worrying times. We haven't had a, a negative year for some time, but this does happen. Um, don't panic, we're here to talk to you. Um, from today's session, you would have got a lot of insights from Steve's experiences. This is quite a normal occurrence, how markets respond. There are fears of recession in the media, but again, you've got to really stuck, stick to what we can control, stick to your asset allocation. Make sure you've got enough cash and fixed interest. There is some good news on the horizon with the cash rates going up for retirees. So again, thanks so much, Steve. Really appreciate your time today. Thanks, Nigel.